Chapter 9, Lesson 1, Probability of Simple Events. You will learn how to write probability and how to find the complement. The probability of a chance event is a number between 0 and 1 that expresses the likelihood of the event occurring. Probability can be written as a fraction, decimal, or percent. Outcomes occur at random if each outcome is equally likely to occur. The probability of an event is a ratio that compares the number of favorable outcomes to the number of possible outcomes. So what you want over the total. Now over here is our chart. If your probability is 1 or 100 percent, it is certain. If it's 50 percent, 0.5 or 1 half, it's as likely to happen as not. If it's impossible, or if it's 0 percent, it's impossible. Everything else is either unlikely or likely. So if you had 99 percent, we would consider that likely. Same thing if you had 2 percent, we would consider that unlikely. So these are your definite points. If you have 0, 50, or 100, it's those three likelihoods, and everything else is in between. There are six equally likely outcomes if a number cube with sides labeled 1 through 6 is rolled. Find P of 6, or how that thread is the probability of 6, of rolling a 6. Write your answer as a fraction, percent, and decimal. Also determine its likelihood. So the probability of 6. What I want is a 6. On a number cube or a die, there's only one 6. And there's one 6 out of 6 numbers. So my probability is 1 6. To get that as a decimal, I divide. 1 divided by 6. Use your calculator. And we're just going to round here. 0 0.16. Well, it's 0 0.16 repeating. So we'll just put the repeating bar. And the percent, to get the percent, you multiply by 100. So it's 16.6 .6 repeating percent. So you're at about 16, 17 percent. To determine its likelihood, go back to your chart. 16, 17 percent is somewhere right here, which puts it in the unlikely range. So the likelihood is it's unlikely to happen. Letter B, a coin is tossed. Find the probability of the coin landing on heads. So probability of heads. Write your answer as a fraction, percent, and decimal. Also determine its likelihood. Well, if you're flipping a coin, just a regular coin, there's only one side that's heads out of two total sides. So the probability is one out of two. As a decimal, that is 0 0.5. Multiply by 100, the percent is 50%. If we look at our likelihood, it's exactly 50%, which means that it is as likely to happen as not. So as likely to happen as not. Just means there's a 50-50 chance. It could happen or it couldn't happen, but the chances are the same. Letter C, find the probability of rolling a 2, 3, or 4. So the probability of 2, 3, or 4 uh, on the number cube. Write your answer as a fraction, decimal, and percent. Also determine its likelihood. Well, 2, 3, or 4, there's 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4, which makes a possibility of three outcomes. The total number of outcomes is still 6. This reduces to 1 half. Yes, please reduce your fractions. And again, as a decimal, it's 0 0.5. A percent is 50. Multiply the decimal by 100 to get 50. And looking back at your chart, it's as likely to happen as not because it's exactly 50%.
Now letter D, I didn't leave too much room here, so I'm just going to use my space underneath. So I'm just going to redo these up down here. Okay. The spinner below is spun once. Find the probability of each event. Write each answer as a fraction, percent, and decimal. Also determine the likelihood for each. So if I'm looking at the spinner and I want to know the probability of F, there's one F out of how many letters? We'll count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the probability is 1 out of 10, which as a decimal is 0 0.1, as a percent is 10%. So at 10%, its likelihood is somewhere in here, which would be unlikely. Now the probability of D or G. Well, I've got 1D, 1G, that makes 2 out of 10, which reduces to 1 fifth. 1 fifth divided on your calculator, you get 0 0.2, which is 20%. And again, if we take a look at our chart, 20% is closer here, but it's still unlikely. Now the probability of a vowel. Vowel, A-E-I-O-U, are your vowels. So let's take a look. How many vowels do we have? I have one, two, three vowels out of 10, which is 0 0.3 as a decimal, 30%. And if we look at our chart, 30% jumps over to this side, but it is still unlikely. Complementary events are two events in which either one or the other must happen, but they cannot happen at the same time. For example, a coin can either land on heads or not land on heads, but not at the same time. It either lands on heads or it doesn't. The sum of the probability of an event and its complement is 1 or 100%. Find the probability of not rolling a 6 on a standard number cube. Write your answer as a fraction, percent, or decimal, and decimal also determine its likelihood. So the probability of not six. Well, if I there are six total outcomes, not six. There's one, two, three, four, and five, which make five out of six as our probability. Divide five divided by six to get the percent or decimal, which is 0 0.83 repeating. Multiply it by 100 to get the percent, which is 83.3 repeating percent. And let's look at the likelihood. 83 is over here, which means it's likely. A bag contains 5 blue, 8 red, and 7 green marbles. The marble is selected at random. Find the probability the marble is not red. Write your answer as a fraction, percent, and a decimal. Also determine its likelihood. Well, we need to know the total. To find the total, let's add those up. 8 and 5 is 13, plus 7 is 20. So I know my total outcomes is 20. Not red. Well, blue is not red, and green is not red, which makes... 12 of them not red. Reduce it, divide by 4, you get 3 fifths is your fractional probability, which is 0 0.6 as a decimal times by 100, 60 percent. Look at your chart, 60 percent is somewhere in this range, which means it is likely to occur.
Mr. Harada surveyed, surveyed his class and discovered that 30% of his students have blue eyes. Identify the complement of this event. Then find its probability. Write your answer as a fraction, percent, and decimal. Also determine its likelihood. Well, an event and its complement add up to 100%. So we just have to take 100% and subtract the 30%, and we get our probability of 70%. And what we're finding is the probability of not blue eyes, which we know is 70% or 0.7 or 70 over 100, which we can reduce by dividing by 10. So we would get 7 over 10. The likelihood, we go back to our chart, 70% is somewhere over here, which means it is likely. The probability of choosing a go back one space card in a board game is 25%. Describe the complement of this event and find its probability. Write your answer as a fraction percent and decimal. Also determine its likelihood. So we are actually going to describe it by the probability of not go back one space. Or a go back one space card. And what I would do to find that is take my 100% and subtract the 25%, which is the probability of picking the go back one space, which leaves me with 75%. So that would be 75% or 0 0.75. Our fraction is 75 over 100. We can divide top and bottom by 25 to reduce. And we get our fraction as 3 fourths. If we take a look at 75%, it is likely. So the likelihood means it's likely to happen.